Uh, today we have Jason Zarim- Zarimba. Zarimba. Zarimba, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Jason, it's good to have you on the show, man. It's good to be here. This is great. I like the production value on this. is far oh. more than any other podcast I've been on. Thank you. Uh, we try to stay professional. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. So, um, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, including the pandemic, I've been doing comedy for about seven years. Awesome. Yeah. Well, now, you, did you start here in Greensboro, or? No, I started in uh, Raleigh. It was the uh, second Wednesday of November 2013. Wow. To the um, yeah, and uh, it was at Good Nights in Raleigh, back when they used to have their open mic. Have you ever been to Good Nights? I haven't. Uh-oh. Well, it's like closing down, but I know, too. I'm, so, I'm, yeah. I'm familiar with it, yes. Yeah, but it was like, yeah, it was uh, their open mic. I've heard they're going to are they going to try and relocate it or I think probably. so. That's probably what they're going to do. I doubt they're going to let it just It's like, "All right, one of the best comedy clubs in the country, it's gone now." I don't think yeah. they're going to let that happen. No, probably not. No, mm-hmm. makes sense. Um What uh what Well, how how old are you now? Uh 27. 27. Wow. So you started at 20. That's awesome. Yeah, 19. So when did you uh, when did you know you wanted to do stand up or what what inspired you to go into stand up at, at um, that young age? I've always been a fan of stand up. Uh, so like you know like I was watching Comedy Central and shit when I was a kid, and I always loved making people laugh. And then uh, I uh, when I was in high school, I got really into music and started like playing in bands and shit. And, you know, I was playing bass and oh, cool. I got like really obsessed with like I was fixated on like I need to be a musician. Like this need this is my life. I'm gonna be a musician. And I was still a fan of comedy, but it wasn't really what I wanted to pursue. Right. And then uh, after a while, after I like I uh, dropped out of college and I joined another band. And I eventually got tired of being in that band because I was, uh, it was like we barely got any work done. And I was like, oh, so the problem is I'm relying on these like four other alcoholics <laughs> to get shit done. Why don't I just focus on one? And then I like, yeah, I uh, left the band. And uh, like the next week I went to Good Nights for the open mic. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Do you still play bass? Yeah, sometimes. Uh, I um, stopped for a while because I was doing stand-up, and that was taking up a lot of time. But then yeah. when the pandemic happened, I like picked it up again, and it was That's a lot cool. of fun. Yeah. yeah, I play the drums. Um, for me, it's I'm not any good at it. Mm-hmm. I can just keep a beat. But uh, I, I, I feel like it's a good creative outlet. You know, it's like a good way to get rid of some creative energy. Yeah. You know, um, after I've worked on some other things. Especially drums. You're like, you know, you're yeah. banging on shit. It's fun. And, yeah. yeah, it's really enjoyable. I forgot who it was that said, like, uh, if you, like, have a friend that you hate, buy their kid a drum set for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. That is funny. We, we just recently uh, bought a drum set for, for a buddy, so, and, <laughs> oh, and yeah. for his, for his right, kid. Yeah. So, yeah, hopefully uh, <clears throat> he can chuckle about that here in a few wow, weeks. He's not your yeah. buddy anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I think he's a good sport with it, but right. we'll see. We'll see. I think he'll regret it at some point. Well, it's especially when you start out playing music. It's not like he like he's going to be hearing drumming, but it's not like he's going to be hearing like great, you know, like whiplash level, like Buddy Rich kind of stuff. It's going to hear just a snare drum, just hitting and like trying. Like it's it. You hear bad drumming. That's probably must be like the worst part of it. It's yeah. not that you're just hearing this shit you don't want to hear. It's the bad version of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just noise. Well, yeah. It's like the Ba Ba Black Sheep. Like literally, I feel like, and maybe that's not like that with the drums, but with the piano and guitar, I feel like it's always you're learning like these these songs, and it's just like I'm tired of hearing this shit. Yeah. Tired that was one it. thing I liked about playing bass was like it's when you're not hooked into an amp, it's like much quieter. So. Yeah. I could just, you know, play like I could play in my room like while my parents were sleeping and it wouldn't really bother them. Yeah. So what uh, what age did you start playing bass? I started playing bass uh, when I was like 12 or th- uh, yeah, I was about 12 when I started playing. I didn't get my first one until I was 13 because okay. uh, like I just used my dad played bass um, and like I found like his bass in the attic and I was like, this guitar looks weird. And then uh, like he like, you know, showed it to me and. Then I started playing it, and then, uh, but I'm left-handed, so like so you we were had to twelve, reverse. and you didn't know your dad could play the bass. I didn't really know what a bass was. Wow. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then like I just like started playing it, and then yeah, I think it was about thirteen. Uh, I went to Sam Ash, got an amp, 
and a bass, and the rest is history. Hey, cool. Uh, so so, oh. You had to flip the guitar over. Did you invert the strings, or did you play at the... Because your um, dad was right-handed, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, I uh, flipped the strings at first. But then, like, I didn't do that with guitar. Because, like, uh, eventually, after playing bass for a while, I started playing guitar, too. But for a while, I was, like, playing... Like, other people would have guitars. I'd be at places where they'd have them. And then, like, I'd just start playing. But I couldn't flip someone else's string, so I had to, like, learn how to play upside down, uh, which was very complicated. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen other people do it. I didn't know uh, Hendrix played upside down, did he? Or did he flip I think the strings? It, I think he flipped the strings. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Which, if he played upside down, and like that's amazing. Yeah. That's even. Yeah. Well, he was self taught, so he yeah. could have. He could have learned. Typically, people that are on that level, they, they just have a, like a special gift. Yeah, there's something there. 